And we welcome you in once again, final time here in the regular season, our game day preview wrapping up 2017 as North Dakota State takes on Illinois State. Great to be with you, Bison Nation. Jeff Colhane, Jeremy Jorgensen here with you. And a lot on the line still. Impressive win last weekend against South Dakota. We got playoff uh, movement in the bracket coming up and a ton to play for. Yeah, an outright title is huge. In this day and age of college football and in the FCS, in the power conferences, the CAA, the Big Sky, the Valley, it's hard to win the league outright. And, and to do that and to do it on the road against a very good team uh, in Illinois State would really catapult this team into the bracket with some momentum. Yeah, absolutely. Here's Ty Brooks and James Hendricks talking about what that outright title would mean to this football team. Yeah, that's the whole mindset is to, is to take it outright. We don't want to share with anybody. So that's the whole goal for the whole week is just go up there, dominate, dominate every snap, dominate every every player in every opportunity just to go win it out right for the seniors. That's a big emphasis this week. I think that if you can be the sole winner of this conference, that's a huge deal. And uh, that's a big goal for this week. Taking a look at the Redbirds offensively, really good rushing attack. James Robinson and Markel Smith, two very good running backs, some impressive wide receivers as well. Uh, Spencer Schnell, uh, Anthony Fowler, Christian Gibbs, Tyler Pekovich are really good tight end. Interesting at the quarterback spot, Jeremy, as Brock's back elected to go with the dual threat guy last week, Malachi Broadnax, instead of their traditional starter, Jay Colby. Not sure what we're going to see this weekend from the Redbird offense. Could see a couple of different uh, looks, a couple of different items. You look at their wins, and they've really run the football well, and that was with a throwing quarterback. Now you put in Malachi Brodnax, who is also a runner, mix him with that talented backfield, and their offensive line is starting to gel. That was a question mark coming into the season. They're playing better, so this dual threat quarterback could uh, uh, certainly pose a threat, and they do have some nice skill guys. Yeah, could see the kitchen sink thrown at the bison. Mm -hmm. Here's Aaron Steidel and Jalen Wimbush talking about what to expect this weekend. They're definitely a threat to any team in the Valley. Uh, they've beaten teams that are up on top, and then you kind of look, oh, geez, Illinois State won this week, and then you're like looking back, and uh, it just proves in the, in the Valley you can't really trust anyone to beat anyone at any given time or you know who's going to win here, but they're definitely a team that's a threat to us. They like to pass with uh, number 16, and when number 5 comes in the game, it's more of a Trey Roberson offense and uh, read option and things like that. I wouldn't say it's tougher to game plan because there's specific calls that we'll call for each quarterback, but um, I do believe that in seeing both of them, they both have different skill sets, so that will be the hard part. As always, a lot of ways to listen and a lot of ways to watch Bison football this weekend. Yep, NBC North Dakota is traveling to Normal, Illinois. We'll have our broadcast crew there for uh, television, also ESPN3 and the Watch ESPN app as well. There we go. Radio side, you can listen starting as early as 8.30 a.m. Network cover starts at 11.30 a.m. Central kickoff at noon Central time on the Peterson Farm Seed Bison Radio Network. That'll do it for our game day coverage, game day preview of Illinois State. He's Jeremy Jorgensen. I'm Jeff Colhane. Big thanks to Rich Grossman. And you've been listening and watching our game day preview right here on GoBison.com.